Brody Bruce Beck, WNBC TV. You said in July the Mets should either trade DeGrom or give him a contract. Now that you are the Mets, how will you handle DeGrom's contract situation? Sure. Didn't expect that question today. Uh, <laughs> so, so Jacob DeGrom clearly has established himself as the best pitcher in baseball. Uh, hopefully in, in a couple of weeks he'll be awarded with, the, with that trophy. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, I, I think that uh, you want to try to identify the best players and you want to keep them for as long as possible. And if our vision and direction does not intend to include a long, sustainable winning team, then you have to consider moving players. But make no mistake, I believe Jacob deGrom is, is an incredible talent, and I hope to keep him for a long time. Wally on the left. Brody Wallace, Matthews from uh, New York Daily News. Um, back on the deGrom issue, did you discuss your, um, your possibility of coming over here with DeGrom and Syndergaard? And if so, what was their reaction to it? Yes, I did, and, and some of the other clients, clients as well. Uh, I think to a man, not only with their Mets clients, but, but also to clients around, around the game, there was a tremendous amount of enthusiasm, a tremendous amount of support, and, and I think a, a belief that I may be able to be, bring some fresh perspectives to the, to the team side. All right, and quick follow-up to that. Um, considering the nature of your relationship, especially with those two players, and the fact they haven't had their big free agent contracts yet, do you think you might have to recuse yourself when it comes time to negotiate those? Yeah, what, let, let me answer that, because I, I had conversations with the commissioner, commissioner's office, LRD, and Tony Clark directly, and we have provisions in Brody's contract to, to deal with any conflicts of interest. 